All right, imagine this. You're alive 260 million years ago, and if you want to survive, you'd better get in the water. No joke. It was literally the only place not trying to kill you every five minutes. Welcome to the Lenin Epoch Late Permian Period. The land, one massive hellscape called Pangea. The ocean, surprisingly chill. The oceans were dominated by Panthalassa. And while you might run into a shark, the worst one, the Helicoprion, was already extinct. So you're safe-ish for now. Meanwhile on land, you've got Gorgonopsids, saber-toothed fast as hell, and packing enough bite force to make your skeleton explode. Think prehistoric bears with attitude. The biggest of the bunch, Inostran Sevilla. Size of a bear, speed of a greyhound, and a mouth that says, you're not walking out of this biome. These things didn't just kill you. They body slammed the ecosystem. Different species roamed South Africa, Russia. Basically, if there was land, there were Gorgonopsids wrecking it. And just when you think it couldn't get worse, oh, it does. We're talking venomous proto-predators, croc-faced hunters, lion-jawed reptiles, armored killing machines. Nature went full Mad Max. Even the herbivores got jacked. You had Lystrosaurus digging bunkers like they owed taxes, and Parasaurs turning into walking tanks with tusks and scoots. You, right, the one upside? No death from above. And like the Mesozoic, the skies were still chill. No pterosaurs dive-bombing your lunch. But then Earth said, let's reset. The late Permian extinction kicked off, thanks to volcanoes in Siberia. Ocean temps cranked to jacuzzi mode. Oxygen dropped, sulfur went airborne, and 90% of life said, nope. The planet basically nuked itself, and even then... Water was still safer than land. Let that sink in. So yeah, for one insane chapter in Earth's history, your best move wasn't to run. It was to swim.